Hello Aquarius and welcome to your April 2020. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Aquarius. Aquarius, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aquarius, this is for you. We are going to see how this person is feeling about you, Aquarius. And we are going to see if this person will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Aquarius for April 2020. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel? Okay. Okay. So they're calling you in using that law of attraction, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So they're calling you in using law of attraction. Uh, visualizing the two of you together. Then we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they respect you. But this is a this is a person maybe you've had you to stand your ground on with. Right? If I could talk, right? This is a person that you've had to stand your ground with. So there was there was an issue here, but they are trying to call you in. All right, so let's see what's going on here. I'm trying to work that magic, right? All right, Aquarius. This is for you, Aquarius. What is going on? How are they feeling about Aquarius? If this resonates with you, Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aquarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Aquarius. For April 2020, how do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? Okay. Okay, so they want to work on a situation here. They want to work on things with you. They want to, they're very focused on you. Um, somebody else just got this guy. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Capricorn. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Don't quote me on that. I do a lot of reads. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. So they want to work on the situation. I feel like they're trying to call you back in, okay? This person has been triggered by jealousy. This person is very jealous over you. And they want to work on the situation. You have stood your ground. You have stood your ground in regards to this person. They want to get back on track. They've got apologies for you, okay? The only thing that they can do right now is, well... They're going to try to reach out. That's number one. Number two is they're trying to create new beginnings here. Um, <laughs> affirmations, affirmations. They, this person knows how important words are and how they speak. And they are trying to use that to um, bring you back in. Okay. So when you talk to this person, um, they're going to be very persuasive. All right. This person's a, a, a jealous individual. Um, they, they are worried about competition that could possibly be around you. Even if there's not, they think that there, there are. There's other people. There's other energies around you. And this person has been triggered by that. They're very focused on you. A tad bit obsessed. A tad bit obsessed. Um, they're not really focused on anybody else right now. They're worried about what you're doing and you have stood your ground with this person. There, there was, um, something that happened between the two of you, which made you kind of withdraw your energy and say, this is how it's going to be. 
Okay, so let's see what's going on. Yep, look at that. Right there. The magician and then calling in your soulmate. Um, I do believe Capricorn got this as well. So, yeah, they're working their magic. They're trying to call you back in. They're using that law of attraction. They're doing it through, through verbiage, through words. They know how important the words that you use are. So they're speaking this into existence. They are speaking um, the two of you coming together in, into existence. That's, that's what I'm feeling here. And the, the next card, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This person. Then we have calling in your soulmate. They feel that strong connection to you. You want to know what the next card is? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. They want you to trust them again. They want you to open up emotionally to them. They want you to be vulnerable with them. They cannot shake this connection. And if anybody else's energy is around you, or even if they think that in their mind, they get, they get highly triggered. They are triggered. Aquarius. Um, they want you out of themselves, period. And they are working their magic. They are speaking this situation into existence. And they've got all the tools to do it. They got the sword for communication, the wand for passion, the cup for love, the pinnacle for excess. They're twirling it all together and they're making it happen. <laughs> they, this is the goal. This is the goal. Not only this, but this is on the table as well. They want commitment. Got two cards of commitment so far. Um, Long-term commitment as well. Loyalty, dedication, blessings, abundance, family. This is what they want. Earth energy, long-term. This is what they're looking for. Forever is what they're looking for. You are there forever. Ten of Pentacles, that's Earth energy. <laughs> and um, the attraction for you is pretty good, right? They want to reignite this flame. They're trying to reignite your passion for them. They are, this is the kind of energy that will, when they talk to you, they want you to see them because they, like on like a video chat or something, because they have been working out, they are looking their best, and they're trying to entice you. They're trying to tempt you back in. And that's that's a very, um, yeah, <laughs> seduce, maybe. They're trying to seduce you, possibly. They're trying to entice, tempt you is a good word. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Ace of Wands, that's more fire energy. All right, so... Aquarius, I'm going to say this. I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid, so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now in the future. Some of you may have already dealt with a situation like this. Um, what else? What else? Cross watchers. Please do keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, right? It's a general reading. So assign the roles as you wish. Like I said with this card, they want commitment here. They, Some readers call this the 1111 card. They feel like it's a divine situation. They want to celebrate. They want to lock it down. They want to put down roots with you. Okay, so they want to make it happen. Commitment. That is their goal. This person is going to try to reach out to you in an emotional way. And I, I'm sorry, I miss you, I'm thinking about you, something along those lines. Um, they're going to try to get you on 
This is for some, this is very specific, but this is for, they're going to try to get you on a video chat. Okay, and like I said, they're going to be looking their absolute best. Even though everybody's on staycation, staycation right now, and you know, most of us are like <laughs> got our hair flopped up the top of our heads. And you know, they're they're gonna <laughs> I'm just, you know, being real. Um I am not looking at my best right now. Nope. Um, but anyway, because, you know, nobody's leaving the house. Why are we going to get all done up and waste all that makeup? If we ain't going out. Anyway, anyway, I don't know. They're going to make sure they're all done up and they're going to try to get you on some sort of video conference or they're working out or they're going to be wearing their tightest shirt, showing their muscles or having some, you know, lashes on, something like that. Male or female, you know, they're going to be looking their best. They're going to try to tempt you. They're going to try to reignite this flame. They're very good at it, by the way. So just so you're aware of that, water energy with that page of cups. This person is jealous. This, even if there is absolutely no one around you, they even get a hint of that or, a, or an intuition about that or a thought in their mind. And this person uh, is triggered. They're very jealous over you, Aquarius. Okay. Even if this is just a fear that there is competition around, they are not having it. You are theirs, period. You are their soulmate. So, will they fight about it? Yeah. Will they try to argue? Will they try to stir things up? Yep. They sure will. They get triggered. They get triggered. All right. This is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius for April 2020. Any more information in regards to how this person is feeling about Aquarius? Okay. You're very guarded. Very guarded. Disappointed you. They disappointed you. Okay. So this person is truly trying to step up their game. Okay. Coming through as the king of pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody with strong earth in their chart. Okay, this person is looking for long term. This person is very serious. They may come back to you and say, you know what, I've changed. I've changed. Let's do this for real. This person's been thinking about this for a while. They want something real with you. Solid, long term, forever type of commitment. Male or female, does not matter. That is the king of pentacles energy likes long term commitment. And they like things to be stable. This is you, wounded, wounded. This person has disappointed you in the past in one way or another, and your walls are up anyway. Aquarius, I feel like just because of everything that has happened to you in regards to relationships, it has caused you to be on defense. You come from a place of defense and emotional detachment this person has their work cut out for them whoever whoever this is coming towards you they got their work cut out for them it's going to be quite difficult to get behind those walls and they know this and they this one is up for the challenge um four of pinnacles this is known as the miser of the tarot so Greedy with your emotions. Very The chakra, the heart chakra is very guarded. You got your shield up. But this person ain't going to let go. They ain't going to let go. They're very stingy with you. And, and who you give your attention to. They do not want you giving your attention to anyone else. Four of Pentacles, very guarded, um, disappointed in love. And this person somehow in some way has disappointed you before. And you've stood your ground with this person at, at some point in time for one reason or another. I don't think it was a catastrophe. 
um, or anything like that, but you had to kind of put your foot down with this individual. Um, and just disappointment, sadness, and I and I feel like this person doesn't want to have any regrets. I do not, they don't want to have any regrets. They're still right there. They're still right there behind you. They're still working on this. They're still trying to get behind those walls, to get you to open up, to get you to be vulnerable with them. They, they still want this. They want to be in your heart space. And they're trying to, like I said before, speak that into existence. All right, Aquarius, that is what's going on with your how do they feel about you reading for april 2020 i hope it resonates with some of you most of you all of you this is water energy by the way um like i said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on facebook instagram twitter and i'll leave those links down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel Please do follow the links below because there's a lot of fake accounts out there pretending to be me for one reason or another. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, uh, I usually go live every day around noon. Eastern Standard Time except for Saturday. All that information can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. What else? Next week, Aquarius, I will be working on the April 2020 mid-month readings. Can you believe it? We're heading into May. Um, so yeah, check those out. Aquarius, I hope you're staying safe out there. Um, I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're doing all right. You all take it easy. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? God bless.